so human, the man who is associated with TFM, who I'm not sure if Sandman advertised his channel for him. I'd have to ask Sandman. Um, that's a bad, he's got, Sandman's got a bad streak of advertising for people that end up being grifters. He has a wife, he's been married for years, and he's here to expose himself. Um, his MGTOW video, Sell Marriage to Me, had like 100,000 views. His I Got Married video in one day has 5.5 thousand views. Interesting disparity there. But let's find out why he got married. Let's, let's find out about it. All of this video isn't clickbait. I've been married for a while now. Look at the simp. Look at his face. He proudly displays his symbol of slavery to you. Look, he's wiggling his fingers like, I've been married for a while now. Look at his smug expression. This is the man who, <laughs> this is the man who made his career lying about being baked out, by the way. It's the man who got 100,000 subs, roasting women, roasting feminism, saying he won't get married. And here he is, the same guy, with a smug, simp-like expression on his ugly mug, wiggling his little untrained simp fingers in front of the camera, proud that he is married. Let's just start it again. Proud slave. No, the title of this video isn't clickbait. I've been married for a while now. As many of you know, I mention my partner, uh, Stephanie, every now and then on my live streams. My partner? Oh, man. <laughs> Bro, imagine getting married and being too scared to call her your wife, <laughs> your partner. Oh my gosh. The weakness is dripping out of him. When I'm discussing relationships, and it makes sense that I sprinkle her and me into my thoughts on these. Well, who was sprinkling her donut back in the day? Who was sprinkling her orifice with hot zinc? Hey, what's her body count, bro? Hey, what's your wife's body count? Come on, Mr. MGTOW. Come on, Mr. Uh, I'm a MGTOW that saw the light. What's your wife's body count? Tell me. Discussions. After all, she's in my life now. This is my real-time experience now compared to my past. But Stephanie is more than just my partner. She's actually been in my life for almost one and a half years now from the day to She's more than my partner. She saved me from the insult rabbit hole that is MGTOW. She, she, she saved me from misogyny. <laughs> this video. And we've known each other for about three and a half years now, I think. Anyway, I never shared this officially until now because I didn't think you needed to know. Mainly because you wanted to steal MGTOW men's money. You think a channel about holding women accountable and about sell marriage to me, it would be important for people to understand whether or not the guy who was saying sell marriage to me, it doesn't do anything for me, is actually fucking married. But no, 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 it, it, it didn't matter if I was married. It doesn't, you know, as like a pastor saying, it doesn't matter like the diddle little kids. What? No, of course it matters. But you wanted to lie to your audience to keep on raking in shekels. You wanted to take men's money by lying. You are a liar. You are a grifter. That's why you didn't tell your community. Because you wanted to keep the con going to take more MGTOW men's money and, and just share it with your wife. I wonder how many nail salon visits Stephanie got off of MGTOW men's money. I'll tell you what. You donate to Undead Chronic at cashapp.cash on Undead Chronic. I guarantee you I'm not going to spend it on a bitch. Zero percent chance. I'm not married. I'm not in a committed relationship. I don't fuck with them hoes like that. I fuck with some hoes, but I don't fuck with them like that. So for years, you knew her for three and a half years. You put your cell marriage video to me out five years ago. 
So in a year and a half after riding the coattails of that successful video and taking MGTOW men's money, a year and a half after that, you met the love of your life who's so much more than a partner for you and you didn't tell your community because you wanted to lie for shekels. You wanted to lie for shekels. Only for the reason that I like to keep the details of my private life pro and we've known each other for about three and a half years now, I think. Anyway, I never shared this officially until now because I didn't think you needed to know. MGTOW men don't need to know that MGTOW channels are actually married men. No, I, I think MGTOW men would disagree with that. Mainly for the reason that I like to keep the details of my private life private. So, we have a guy who cams up and shows his face. He in, can easily be doxxed. I'm sure people have already, I'm sure women tried to dox him before. But he won't tell you he's married because he wants to keep his private life separate. Oh my gosh. No, that's not it. You wanted to steal money from MGTOW men. You wanted to be a fraud. You wanted to be a fake and take the money in. That's why. If you're concerned about the details of your private life, you wouldn't cam up and show your face. But because you're a simp and you're defending the plantation, you don't have to worry about getting canceled anymore. You don't. As any reasonable person would understand. But here's the thing. More and more, as I chat with you guys about relationships and life, about being honest, and I talk from my perspective now on these subjects, and not from the past, but now, I've had a bad taste in my mouth avoiding certain words lately. Now you are a simp. Now you are a fraud. Now you are a liar. Now you are a weak, blue pill beta who got married to used up Puniti. And yes, when you pull up a picture of your wife, I'm going to roast her. Like wife. And I don't like it. And yes. So you don't like the word wife, but you got married to a woman? You don't like the word wife, but you entered a legally binding contract with a woman in marriage. Huh. Interesting. While I chose my words carefully at the start of our relationship so I could keep the details of my private life with Stephanie private, in the same way I choose my words carefully during a live stream so YouTube doesn't slap me on the wrist, I think- You're a simp. You won't get slapped on the wrist. You'll get slapped on the scrotum, and then you'll crawl back to your wife and be like, I made some YouTube shekels. Here you go, honey you know, go on a girl's trip. That this protective habit I had at the start of our dating and then commitment, then moving in together, then finally getting married, has kind of expired its use by date now, especially since we've been together for so long. What, you, you met her three and a half years ago? Dude, I have mustache hairs older than your marriage. <laughs> I've been with her for so long, so I guess I'm, well, you know, I'm happy that you're coming clean for being a simp. Let's not forget, though, the, the journey of Stephanie and I, from dating to marriage, happened over the course of years. Years. Three and a half years. Three and a half years. You're an old man. You're an old man. Stop talking about this. I've had friends with benefits for, long, for longer than you've been married, bro. I'm not going to brag about it like that. Look, I've been whipped for years. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, take your bald ass back. And that happens privately in the real world between two people and not here online. And it isn't material for a YouTube channel anyway, at least not for me. I'm not. Because you're, you built your channel off of MGTOW men. It is material. What is your most popular videos about? What are they about? And now you're married. And now you're a simp. Not one of those channels that vlogs every moment of their lives. Hey guys, now I'm walking to me. Look at this. <laughs>
<laughs> bro, tell your chick to get her hair done, bro. My <laughs> my gooch hairs have less split ends than your run through white woman, dude. Look at this. <laughs> she looks like a ghost. She looks like a ghost. Oh, got the Crypt Keeper hair. It's like flying off of her body. Like, look at all this hair trying to leave her scalp. Look at that hairline, bro. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. It's like someone built the Great Wall of China on her forehead and just built it all the way back. And that's what you married? Yeah, that's what you married. Meet Stephanie for the first time. Wish me luck. I hope she... There you go. There you go. Mr. MGTOW Man himself. As soon as he gets the attention of an aging white woman... He changes everything he believes in. He changes everything he believes in. Why? Because, to be quite frank, I would put money down that human was an incel. I'd put money down that he hasn't really gotten sexual validation from a lot of women, if at all. And so, if he's been living in the desert, he's been so thirsty for punyaya and coped, he was coping as a MGTOW, Oh, well, I'm making this choice. No, you weren't making that choice. You, women didn't want to be with you because you look like Ratatouille, okay? You look like Gru from Minions, okay, bro? You look like Gru from Minions, but you're not as smart or funny. And as, as soon, as soon as a white woman who puts on an inch and a half of makeup gives you some attention, you change it all up. You change it all up. That doesn't speak about MGTOW and why it's wrong. It speaks about you. Your values, your beliefs, your philosophies are 100% based on your access to Puniti. What do you call someone who changes what they believe in based on whether or not they can get Puniti? Oh yeah, I know we call them. We call them a simp. This is the biggest expose of a simp. I mean, it, it, does it get any more clear than this, guys? Does it get any more clear than this? She doesn't mind this camera, huh? And so, as I continue to talk about stuff in videos and streams, I thought I'd reveal what Stephanie's official title has been for a while and will be from now on. She's my wife. Look how smug you look saying that. Your channel's over, bro. Your channel's over. <laughs> you. you it's the same thing all these pickup artists and all these roaches do. They build a channel up by copying MGTOW talking points, by copying Manosphere talking points, and then they build this community up who is, wants to listen to them speak about MGTOW stuff or Red Pill stuff or Manosphere stuff, and they get the, in their little narcissistic heads and they, people don't really support me because of my arguments. They support me for who I am. I'm just that cool of a guy. I'm just so smart. I'm so smart that I got 100,000 subs on my YouTube channel. And then you backstab the community. You backstab everything you stood for, what you built your channel off of, and nobody wants to watch anymore. Nobody. So let's read some comments to find out whether or not his community likes what's going on. Congrats, brother. I hope this is a happy marriage. Sad to see many haters here in the comments. And it got pinned. Okay. A channel with 100,000 subs pinned a comment when he released a video and it got seven likes. <laughs> uh, video should be titled, I got my ball and chain. Your life turned into a scene from the movie Jerry Maguire. Okay, whatever. So what? You lied to receive attention and money from MGTOW men? That's disgusting. We've got another think before you simp situation right here. Faker. She's going to use his old content as a bomb in the divorce. Sell me marriage. <laughs> oh, man. And the comments tell a story, okay? It's fascinating how women can so easily bend and twist absolute, apparently resolute men out of shape. At least the blue pillars have the excuse of ignorance. You have none. Is he deleting comments? Oh, here we go. 
I wonder what Hammerhand has to say about this. Let's see what he says. My Dutch wife will be pleased. But you didn't talk about Hammerhand donating to you? Huh. But Hammer. The comments show the way the world show the world why MGTOW is sick. No growth, no accountability, no self-reflection. Just blame and unresolved anger. No. This guy lied to MGTOW for years. He is a liar. He lied to MGTOW to take their money. And you're saying that MGTOW shouldn't feel some kind of way about this? Full of shit, I'm out. That gets a like. Welcome to the plantation. Here's what we'll do. I'm going to put the link in the video. I'm going to put the link. It's only got 5,000 views, guys. It only got 5,000 views. Let's do a little raid. Human is scared of undead chronic. Actually, no. Human is scared of hammerhand. Let's do it like that. Human is scared of hammerhand. There's the link. I'll pin it. Yeah, I'll get rid of the shackles. There you go. Go to that video and tell him that, say, human is scared of Hammerhand. Do it. He needs to know that we view him as weak. He needs to know that he will be held accountable by the men he stole money from for years. For years.